welcome back. We are in my Monarch enclosure, AKA my greenhouse in the garage where I start seeds in the winter. And it was time to replenish uh, the milkweed for the 12 caterpillars that I have. And when I went out to grab more milkweed, I accidentally got a whole bunch of eggs in the process. So let me show you where I'm at and what's been going on. Quick disclaimer, if you hear this strange like grinding noise in the background, it's the timer that I use to turn the grow lights on and off to simulate day and night. So I'll just like, I'll turn the camera around and uh, put it closer so you can hear it. Cause when I'm really quiet, you can hear it. But if I'm talking, you can't hear it. So let me flip it around. just constantly makes a noise. That's all. I grabbed this whiteboard from Walgreens so that I could keep track of who I have, what's going on, how many I've released. Today is the 11th, so that's recently updated. It's also a very warm 95 degrees in Northeast Kansas. I have 12 Caterpillars, no, there's 11 in here. Most of them are third instar, I believe. And then I have one caterpillar on that leaf right there. One chrysalis there. Oh, you know what? I need to update the number of chrysalis. Cause there was three that were caterpillars yesterday and now there's more chrysalis. So I'll get to that in a little bit. But I watched a few videos about eggs and I was learning about OE earlier today. Um, I think I have, oh my good gracious. Uh, <laughs> well, we will be cleaning that off this milkweed leaf before we put it in with the cats. Anyway, like I was trying to say, I was doing some research about OE and uh, I might need to get supplies to rinse, you know, eggs and milkweed, but I don't have that set up yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to harvest these eggs with some leaves still attached and keep the eggs in here so that I can keep track of the tiny little caterpillars when they emerge and so that they don't get eaten by these guys as they go to fourth and fifth in star. So this is what I am aiming for. Just kind of enough food for when the caterpillar hatches. And then once I notice that it's hatched, I can move it or give it more leaves. Um, they're not supposed to move for three to five days after they hatch. So hopefully this will be enough for the little guy. And we're just going to all the eggs I find. Just kind of set them in there and maybe a quick spritz with just some plain water to get the leaf nice and moist. And then I have um, this lid, which I realize they don't need air, but I didn't do that research until after I made that lid. And then I'll put that ice cream tub up here away from, you know, anything that could be crawling around on the ground. So. I'm going to harvest the rest of my eggs and come right back. All right. I ended up with four eggs and one that's questionable because it's dark all over. So I'm going to monitor this one. If it doesn't hatch in the next day or two, I'll exterminate it. Um, the eggs are supposed to get a little white top or I mean a dark black top and not be dark all over like that. So this one could be parasitic. So I'm gonna keep a real close eye on that. The others, or I guess it could just be about to hatch. The others all look good and healthy. So I put this in there just, you know, in case. I also gave this guy a new leaf, the one that was in with that chrysalis and I'm well aware that I need to clean that. I have some things ordered, I have some plans, so things will look different, hopefully in my next video. But this guy's leaf was dying, so I had to give him a new leaf. It might not have been the best idea, but you know, can't go back now. 
and I'm just gonna put them back in there away from the eggs and away from the bigger caterpillars and hopefully um, it'll shed soon and get bigger okay so like I said I ordered some things from Amazon I think I have a plan to make things a little bit better once I get chrysalis um, I might even order a couple more of these enclosures so that I can clean some and anyway long story short I think I have a plan and um, I guess we're just gonna keep doing this as long as they come to my yard I got some milkweed seeds saved that I can start plants next year and uh, I think I'll leave you with some munching caterpillars thanks for watching you'll see me next time